Hi there and welcome to Acura Solutions. Uh, Samantha Knight and DeForage here and today's video will focus on two new pieces of functionality in our latest release of Acumatica Cloud ERP which is 2019 R1. Uh, two pieces of functionality we will focus on today is the conditional formatting and the side panel features. So if you do have any interests or questions about specific functionality, please don't hesitate to reach out to me directly with your questions. Uh, we know Acumatic is an undoubtedly a product that has far surpassed our competitors in a short amount of time because of how much development goes back into the product. Um, I know a lot of our clients and a lot of clients in general are really excited about our new WMS scanning solution built natively within the solution itself. So without the requirement of an add-on, um, you know, a lot of our clients are really excited about counting physical inventory, transferring, um, you know, doing pick, pack, shipping, um, definitely a really cool feature, but uh, stay tuned for that video. But uh, let's drill down into conditional formatting. So what is it? So currently I'm in my warehouse manager screen and I'm going to drill down into orders to ship. And conditional formatting is essentially a condition against a field. So the conditional formatting allows you now to color code your data that comes to you. So we always want to focus on the data coming to you so you don't have to go out and look for it. Well, now we can make it scream at you when it requires your attention. So if we drill down here, we can see that there's a lot of shipment dates here that have been surpassed. Um, we know these orders are late. Well, we got to get them out of the door. Um, and we can see the sales orders here listed. Now, typically somebody would click on the sales order number, but with the second piece of functionality with an Acumatica Cloud, we have the side panel. So what the side panel does is it actually helps you drill down into the actual sales order. Now this doesn't just have to be the sales order, you know, you can attach the customer profile or vendor details or perhaps any supporting analytics. You can sort of have them listed going down this column here. But in this particular case, um, it's just the sales order. Let's keep it a little simple. But we know that, you know, order 4751 is what we're currently highlighted on. But if I click on a different sales order, that number is going to change to 4746. So it is a real time proactive change. But if I go back to this order, we know that it's redlined and we can tell because it's appearing in red and we obviously know that the date is now passed. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move this. I'm going to move this to September 16th because that's my birthday. So when I move this date, and I'm just going to copy it and paste it in here too, so it's the same, and I'm going to save this. So from here, I've saved this date, but at the same time, what I can do is actually create shipments directly from this screen as well. But if I go back into this field, I can see that it's still redlining, but when I refresh the screen, this order has now been modified to ship on September 16th. So just a little couple new features. If you do have any questions on how to set this up, feel free to reach me, uh, reach me directly. Um, but just some, just some parameters on conditional formatting. You can also set the conditional formatting to be, you know, maybe not screaming at you, but maybe kind of giving you subtle hints before some things do. So for instance, this order will be due here in about two weeks. So if we wanted to have that kind of a lead time, we could actually maybe just say, let's make this show in yellow so that we have, you know, that proactive, okay, this has got to ship here soon, so let's just keep an eye on it. But that's just some new features. If you do have any questions, feel free to let me know, and hope you enjoyed this video.